From this part, I will start solving combinational circuits problem appeared in gate exam. The first problem is taken from gate 1992 exam and this problem is based on 4 is to 1 marks. In case of 4 is to 1 marks, there are total 4 input lines and 2 selector variables are there. You can easily calculate the number of selector variables by using this formula log base 2 n where m is the selector variable and n is the number of inputs. In this case there are 4 inputs so we have log base 2 4 and this is equal to 2. So there are 2 selector variables s1 and s0 and depending upon this we have 4 possible combinations. I will first make the table for 4 is to 1 marks S1, S0 are the two selector variables. F is the output of the MUX. Because of these two variables, we have four possible combinations. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. These are the four possible combinations. And output F is equal to I0 when S1 is 0 and S0 is 0. This input will link to the output. Output F is equal to I1 when S1 is 0, S0 is 1, I1 will now link to F. In the same way, we have F equal to I2 and I3 for the last two cases. But in this question, I0 is equal to C. I0 is equal to C. I1 is also equal to C. You can see this connection. I1 is also equal to C. I2 is equal to C complement. I2 is equal to C complement and I3 is also equal to C complement. Function f is equal to S1 complement, S0 complement and I0. This is what we have from this first case. S1 is 0, S0 is 0. Output f is equal to I0. So we have S1 complement and S0 complement and I0 or S1 complement, S0, I1 or S1, S0 complement, I2, or S1, S0, I3. From this problem, you can see S1 is equal to A, S1 is equal to A, and S0 is equal to B, S0 is equal to B. Now I will put these values in this expression and we will try to simplify this using Boolean algebra. S1 complement, this means A complement, S0 complement, this means B complement, I0 is C, so we have C. So the first product term is A complement, B complement, C. In the same way, we have A complement, B, C or A, B complement, C complement or A, B, C. So this is what we have from the table and now we will try to minimize it using the laws of Boolean algebra from the first two terms from the first two terms you can see A complement C is common and from the last two terms A C complement is common this is C complement so A C complement is common from the last two terms A complement C inside the bracket we have B complement or B A C complement inside the bracket we have B complement or B B complement or B is equal to 1 so we have A complement C or A C complement and this is the expression for XOR operation. So A XOR C is the answer. The output F is equal to A XOR C and if we see the four options, option B is the correct option because F is equal to A XOR C. So this is how you have to find out the function F. You only have to take care of the values assigned to the inputs and selector variables in the problem. Now I will solve the second problem. The second problem is taken from gate 1993 exam and this problem is based on 8 is to 1 multiplexer. I will first read the problem then we will solve it. Signals A, B, C, D and D complement are available using a single 8 is to 1 mux. We only have to use one 8 is to 1 mux and no other gate implement the boolean function f having the variables A, B, C, D where A is the MSB and D is the LSB. 
this is the boolean function given in the problem we have to implement this boolean function using 1 8 is to 1 multiplexer first I will draw 8 is to 1 multiplexer in case of 8 is to 1 multiplexer there are 8 inputs and 3 selector variables let's say the 3 selector variables are S2, S1 and S0 the output is F the output is F and we have 8 inputs starting from I0 to I7 I0 is the first input I1 is the second input I2, I3, I4, I5, I6 and I7 these are the 7 inputs to 8 is to 1 mux the given boolean function is B and C or A and B and D complement or A complement and C complement and D. I will try to implement this by using the Carnot map. We have four variables so definitely we need to make 16 cell K map in which the MSB is A and the LSB is D. Implementation of boolean function using the multiplexers is very easy when you use the Carnot map this is the 16 cell K map A is the MSB D is the LSB 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 now we will fill this map using the information given in the problem the first product term in the boolean function is B and C this implies B is 1 and C is 1 and if you see this K map you will find B is 1 for these two rows for second and third rows B is equal to 1 and C is equal to 1 for the last two columns third and fourth columns C is equal to 1 so we have 1 in these four cells very simple in the same way you have to fill the map using the second and third product terms and when you complete the K map it will look something like this and now we will try to implement the boolean function using the 8 is to 1 mux as I have already told you there are three selector variables in 8 is to 1 mux we need to assign three variables out of A, B, C, D as our selector variables let's say S2 is equal to A S1 is equal to B S0 is equal to C these are three selector variables A, B, C and if you make the truth table if you make the truth table with these three selector variables A, B, C the output is F there are eight combinations 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 then we have 1, 0, 0 after this we have 101 101 110 and the last one is 111 these are the eight combinations and in the first combination a is 0 b is 0 c is 0 and we need to find out the output f for this condition when all the three selector variables are equal to 0 i will write here s2 s1 s0 because a is equal to s2 b is equal to s1 c is equal to s0 when all these three selector variables are 0 this means these two cells a b are 0 for this row c is 0 for these two cells so we have d as the value of output f because we have 1 in this cell and for this cell d is equal to 1 so d is the output for the first condition for the second condition a is 0 b is 0 c is 1 which means this two cells and there are zeros in these two cells so output is simply equal to 0 after this for this third condition a is 0 b is 1 c is 0 a is 0 b is 1 for this entire row and c is 0 for the first two cells so we'll try to obtain the output f from these two cells d is the output because we have one in this cell d is the output from the fourth condition a is 0 b is 1 c is 1 which means these two cells and we have 1 in these two cells so output is simply equal to 1 for the next condition a is 1 b is 0 c is 0 a is 1 and b is 0 for this entire row 
and C is 0 for the first two cells and we have 0 in the two cells so output is simply equal to 0. In the same way you have to complete it for the last three conditions also and when you complete it you will find you have 0 D complement and 1 as the value of output F. Now we have the value of F we can easily implement it using the 8 is to 1 marks when A, B, C all are 0 I0 will link to the output F D is equal to I0 in the same way 0 is equal to I1 all the way to I7 so I0 is D I1 is 0 I2 is D I3 is 1 I4 is 0 I5 is 0 I6 is D complement and the last input I7 is equal to 1 so this is how you implement the given boolean function using the 8 is to 1 marks. This is the best way to implement any boolean function using the multiplexers. The only thing you must do is to draw a K map depending upon the variables. We have 4 variables. So we made 16 cell K map. If you have 3 variables make 8 cell K map and uh, try to obtain the inputs depending upon the assigned selector variables. You have to assign the variables as the selector variables like in this case we assigned a b c as the selector variables you can also assign a b and d as the selector variables so on the input side you will have c or c complement along with zeros and ones i hope this is clear to you this question was important question and if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one